When the Pixel 3 came out in 2018, I fell in love with it. Not only did I appreciate the small form factor and the slim design, but it also took some great images as well. Fast forward a few years and now we have the Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro and the 6 Alpha and all these other versions of the Pixel, which seem like fantastic phones, but in my opinion, the new design took away from what I loved about the Pixel 3. It's not as sleek and sexy to me anymore. I just don't like that design. So instead of upgrading to the Pixel 6, I decided to go to, well, now it's gonna be two generations ago, the Pixel 5. I love you, cherish you, honor you, every moment of every day. One thing about the Pixel 5 is that it retains that small form factor that I loved about the Pixel 3, but it had some pretty good upgrades, and, and most of the issues that I had with the Pixel 3, the Pixel 5 pretty much corrected, not to mention it gave it a bigger screen, which I didn't even need that, but it's nice though. I like the, the, the more full screen that it has instead of those big bezels that the Pixel 3 had, but the battery life is a lot better, and it uh, also added an extra camera on you know, the ultra-wide. Okay, now we're on the rear cameras. And as I was saying, one of the benefits to the Pixel 5, one of the improvements is this extra ultra-wide, which is nice. So basically what I'm saying is the Pixel 5 is like a Super Saiyan version of the Pixel 3. But I'm still curious if the video is a little bit better this time around. All right, so here's a quick vlogging test with the front-facing camera on the Google Pixel 5. Uh, this is audio straight out of the phone. I don't have anything attached, any external audio right now, but I just want to see how this would be for, ooh, look at that view. Yeah, I'm on the roof of my building, but I wanted to see if this was uh, viable for vlogging situations. So, and just to test the video in general, because I think uh, the Pixel has gone a long way. Obviously, they have the Pixel 6 and they're probably gonna have a new phone this year. So anyways, this is it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to the back facing camera now. All right, here's the back facing camera. I wanna show you a little bit more of that view. It's got that little stabilization in there. I think the stabilization works pretty good, especially for panning shots. Uh, let's see for walking. I'm walking somewhat, pretty much normal. It seems pretty smooth in camera. Ooh, see how loud it is over here? But here you go, this is for vlogging. Uh, let me see, I'll switch to the wide angle. This is, uh, you can't see yourself on the back camera. So this might not be ideal for vlogging, but yeah, you guys get a good look at how this video footage may look for you. And of course you wanna have some decent lighting if you're going to do some uh, video with this camera. I don't see myself using this phone for a video, to be honest. I think I'm more likely to use the iPhone or use my Sony ZV-1, which I'm actually doing a time lapse right now while I make this video. So it's like inception right now because that's gonna be a video coming up soon. But anyways, uh, what do you guys think? And do you guys like the Pixel 6 and the 6 Alpha and all these new uh, versions of the Pixel? Do you guys like the Pixel 5 like I do? I love the Pixel 5. I just wanted to make a little video because I love that phone so much. I, well, it came from the love from the Pixel 3, but the 5 is just as good. It, it was definitely better. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Oh, another thing, another thing I didn't mention was uh, I love that when Google made these phones, they were making their own cases, these little uh, fabric cases that they made, man, I love these things. It's a shame that I don't think they make these anymore, man. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you wanna see more content, guys, make sure you subscribe for future content, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.